Hey everyone, I'm Emma. And I'm Tyler. And today we're going to talk about how to pick a domain name. You're probably wondering, what is a domain? Well, I know it sounds abstract, but we're going to give you the ins and outs so that you can pick the right domain for you. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up for more internet how-tos. Okay, so what exactly is a domain? The domain name system, or DNS for short, assigns addresses to websites and web servers. Think of it like your home address or your phone number, but for the internet. Here's the easiest way to describe it. A domain comes after the www in the URL bar. For example, engine.xyz, starship.xyz, and huli.xyz are all great examples of domain names. And, fun fact, they're used by MIT, the co-founders of Skype, and the TV show Silicon Valley. So now that you know what a domain is, let's talk about how to find the perfect domain name for you and your website. Now, this is the fun part because it gives you the ability to have complete creative control of your brand and pick the perfect domain of your dreams. Keep it short. If it's too complex, people might misspell it or forget it altogether. Go with what you know. Get your name, your last name, your business, your idea, etc. Use keywords. Use words that describe your business or site. It not only helps you brand your site, but it also helps increase the chances that people can find you in search results. Avoid dashes. Some people might not be able to find your site because they forget to use a hyphen. Pass the radio test. Is it eight as in the number, eight as in the number spelled out, or eight as in I just ate a bagel? Avoid using words and numbers that might cause confusion if it was said on the radio. Research it. Make sure that the domain that you want isn't trademarked or taken by someone else. You want to make sure that it's unique to you and your business. Check social media. Check to make sure the social media handles that match your domain are still available. Avoid aftermarket prices. The domain you want might be registered for sale by owner for thousands of dollars. Before going down that route, consider your other options. Which leads us to... Choose the right domain ending. We suggest using .xyz. It's the new go-to domain ending and is one of the most popular in the world. It's affordable, it's memorable, and it can be used for any purpose. Plus, there's a ton of names still available. Think of it like this. We end the alphabet with XYZ, so we end domains the same way. Get creative. If the domain that you want is taken, don't worry, there's still millions of options out there. For example, try adding a prefix like my, or a suffix like city. These keywords will help you get found in search results. Once you find a couple of domains that you like, act fast. You never know who else might be eyeing those domains. And we know we just threw a ton of information at you, but it's really important to get the right domain for you and your business. To find out how to register a domain, click the card in the top right hand corner of the screen. And from everyone at XYZ, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.